higher level, uh, just had their two exams uh, the week before. And uh, traditional is to kind of go through and review the exam, find out all the errors that they made, um, where they can improve. Um, but traditionally, it, it can be quite dire, that exam feedback. You know, when papers first go out, kids get fixated on scores. Uh, and it's an exam paper, so you have to put a score on. Um, and no matter how many comments you put on the papers themselves and get sidetracked by the score. Uh, so the way we do it now is, with the use of the whiteboards, it's, you know, pair up with a buddy, go around, tackle two or three questions from the exam. Um, at this stage, they don't even have the exam papers back, but already within 30 minutes, they've engaged with two or three exam questions. You can then take a gallery walk around the whiteboards, see what the colleagues have done, and only then, when they've really engaged with some of the problems they had, they get the papers back. And you can just see, I know, the richness of learning and um, you know, we were talking together about there was no kind of sense of, oh, I've, I've really hit a wall and I can't do this. Um, as soon as you take that learning from the individual to uh, a pair or a group, um, obviously there's collaboration there, but as soon as you take it from on the desk to up on the whiteboards, it just opens up a whole new world. You know, for the teacher themselves, they're They've got high visibility, they can, they can put their finger on just the, the misconception that a group of students might be doing. Um, you, there's an ease of movement around the classroom that's quite engaging for students and teacher. Um, you can then actually grab a pair of students who you know have really got a particular concept and you can activate them as teachers to then go and wander around the other groups as well. Uh, so it's just a highly effective use of, of time basically.